Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I am troubled over how we are going about this. As a former chairman of this committee, I am deeply disturbed that this committee is continuing to pursue the unprecedented course of holding a sitting Attorney General in contempt of Congress. Mr. Chairman, you claim that contempt is warranted because Mr. Holder's office has refused to turn over documents that the majority asserts is critical to the investigation of gun walking operation along the Arizona-Mexico border. The majority claims are without merit. And let me say that I could see it was a situation where the Attorney General was not responding, but he has been up here nine times testifying. And let me just say one other thing, too that in all of my 30 years of being in the United States Congress, the way that he was treated when he was here testifying before this committee, I must admit I have never seen anybody treated in that fashion. So I don't understand why we have to move in this order if they are cooperating. If they are not cooperating, then I, uh, maybe we could understand what you are doing. But I will be honest with you. I think this is a mistake, a major mistake, and I really want you to know that I think that uh, this should be discontinued, and let's see if we can continue to get the information that he's willing to sit down and provide, and has indicated that. And I don't understand why we have to move in this fashion. Uh, it's a discredit to this committee, and of course, um, uh, this committee, as you know has a full name of oversight and government reform. And I don't see you reforming anything here. I just don't get the point. It just does not make sense to me, and it is the most ridiculous thing that I think I have seen in my years of being on this committee. I yield to the gentlewoman from uh, New York, balance my time. I, I thank the gentleman for yielding, and I, I uh, would like to be associated with his comments and also those of Ms. Norton. Uh, the administration and, and the Attorney General uh, have made an offer to continue discussions. And I, I believe these discussions should move forward in the spirit of, of getting some type of conclusion and the information that you need and solutions uh, moving forward. And I, I want to quote from the letter that uh, was sent to Mr. Issa from uh, James Cole. And in it he says, I, uh, I stress that the Department remains willing to work toward a mutually satisfactory resolution of this matter. So why can't we work together? And I uh, would like to publicly thank Mr. Micah, Chairman Micah, really, for working across the aisle uh, on uh, the transportation bill. And hopefully this can move forward in a bipartisan way. And I think we should work across the aisle on uh, getting uh, this resolved in a way that uh, satisfies the chairman and the members on both sides of the aisle. And uh, the fact that he has made an offer to continue discussions, uh, we should uh, follow up. And I think that this offer reinforces the points that, uh, that uh, my good friend uh, the Congressman Norton was making, that the Justice Department is open to uh, working towards some type of conclusion. And I, I would like to say we have never censured a Cabinet officer in, in the Government Reform and Oversight Committee. I think it was some people or, or had a contempt vote. I think there was one on some EPA officials that were lower down. I can't remember. You, you could probably remember. But never a Cabinet officer and never the, the highest ranking uh, member of, of, of law enforcement for our country uh, who is willing to work with the chairman. Uh, so I, I feel that. Uh, this is an area that we could uh, work together in a positive way. And I yield back to the gentleman from the great State of New York, my good friend, Mr. Towns. I think it is a great statement, Mr. Chairman, and I hope you would consider it.